Hey guys, Motor Car Nut, and today we're going to be repairing a strip thread with a little kit. They're convenient, and we're going to do this on a critical engine part. Uh, why I'm saying critical is because it's a block that holds um, cams and, and you know and lifters and areas. And if it was to get loose, that would you know it would just destroy the engine. So you can't just like you know put a different size thread bolt in there and thread it down like you would, let's say on a valve cover gasket at the edge tip, you know, you maybe put an incorrect thread, it's tight, good enough. But on this, that's not gonna work. You're gonna have to make new threads. Now they have at least all different types of kits out there. And they're usually all the same. What they're gonna require is an insert. This is basically the new threads that are gonna go in there, okay? And the other side has like a little tab. Now that little tab is after you drill the hole, and it usually tells you what drill bit you're going to need because you're going to have to tap it. So what you're going to do after you drill the hole, right? You drill the hole. Then you're going to use, the kit comes with a tap, all right, that you're going to put in it. And you're going to, you know, make new threads. And these new threads are going to be for the insert, okay? And then once you have, I'm going to show you. And once you have the threads for the insert, you take this tool that has like a little fork on the end and that basically goes, it screws this in. See the tab? This goes into the tab. Uh, all right, and it locks in the tab so it can you can turn in the threads. And then once the threads are just a little bit below the surface, you get like a little um, a punch or something in there and you break that tab off. You break that little tab off. So the first thing we're gonna do, being that the end is already apart, I mean, is already together, I'm gonna put um, a towel here so no metal filings go anywhere. And um, you know, it's not the best practice, but if you don't wanna take anything all off, especially if this is in the car, that's how you gotta do it. So I just put, a rig here to cover it around to catch most of the metal filings. And now you're going to need a drill. And when you put the drill bit on, what you can do is put some grease on the drill bit. So when you put it in, the grease takes most of the uh, filings and won't splash them around. And you don't go fast. You go slow with the drill while you're drilling it. Now, when you drill, okay, make sure you're straight. You're level this way. And you're pretty much level this way the best you can. Okay, because that's important when you put the thread in, you don't want the bolt to be crooked, especially in a critical uh, engine part. So now after you do that, you get your uh, the, your tap and you oil it with WD-40, oil the hole. And if you don't have a handle like this, you can get maybe a socket that'll fit on the end of it or a vice grip. And you just want to make sure, like, again, the same thing, you want to make sure it's pretty much straight up and down and that way. And you And you dig in, just a little bit past the, the, like I'm using right now, this is a six millimeter. Well, they're coming all different sizes, but you make the threads like about almost like a little bit more than uh, what they are here. A little bit, you know, cause you want to go a little bit below the surface. So you make the threads about one and, one, and, one and a half times bigger than this. And as you go in, you go in a couple of turns, you're going to feel the resistance as it's trying to, as it's making threads, you back out a little bit put a little bit more oil. If you have a little air gun, you can blow out a little bit of the uh, filings and you keep going. I mean, you can go all the way to the bottom of the hole, you'll feel the resistance. All right, then um, you just back it out and then you're gonna have nice new threads. That This is for the insert now, keep in mind. This is not for the, the screw, okay? So I'm gonna just take those little uh, threads out of there and clean it up. When you put the, the uh, insert in, like I said, make sure that tab right there is on the bottom. Okay? And then you put the tool in there. And then you just turn it in. Okay? And you want to go below the surface. Okay, I think that's good. Oh, I'm sorry. Where are we? Oh. 
All right. Okay, you see that? You got your new threads in there just below the surface. So you can go a little bit deeper if you wanted to. Now the tab that's on the bottom, you see that tab right there on the bottom? We're gonna just hit that with um, like, I don't know, a thin screwdriver, just knock off the, the tab and take it out with, with a little, you know, grease or or if you have an uh, air gun, blow the air out, all right? And after you do that, I knocked out the tab in there not in there no more. You put your screw in. And there you go. Now you got decent threads. Now, keep in mind, you can do this for most parts on the engine. You cannot do it for a head gasket. Um, unless there's kits out there I'm not aware of. Um, head gaskets require a lot of torque and everything, so I'm not sure. If they have uh, head gasket inserts, kits, I'm not sure. I'm pro Probably I wouldn't trust it. But for like over here where you're going to use like 70 inch pounds to torque these down, it's going to be fine. Because basically what happened with this, it's um, the insert is steel. So these threads are stronger than actually these threads. Even though it's, 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 th it's threaded into aluminum, but it, they're still, they're still uh, steel and not aluminum. So, and that's basically how you do that. All right, I'll leave a link on the kit I used. Um, actually, instead of the link, I can just show you really fast. So it's easier, instead of looking. This one was OEM tools, and this was a six millimeter by 1.0 pitch. So, and like I said, they come in all different sizes. But like I said, I don't believe it's for head gaskets. All right, guys, motor car nut, please subscribe, hit the like channel. Any questions, leave them below pertaining to the video. I appreciate all the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. And just a quick note, what I was saying before about uh, it, those thread repair kits are not recommended for, for head gaskets. What I'm meaning is the, the cylinder block threads. I'm sorry. I keep saying head gasket. Just to clear that up. Uh, where the head meets the block, you have the threads in the cylinder block. Yeah, I don't think that I would recommend that repair for that. That's what I meant.